So if you live out west, the likelihood right now is that whether you're in Colorado, California, Washington, Oregon, or many of the other states out in this area, you are probably dealing with some wildfires right now. It's not directly impacting your home, which we are prayerful they are not. Um, if your home is being directly impacted and your family is being directly impacted, would you guys, if you'd like prayer, post it down in the comments because I would love to pray for you and lift you guys up specifically. Um, we are on the front range in Colorado in Arvada, which is halfway between Boulder and Denver. And we have been experiencing wildfire smoke on and off for about the last two months. So we'll get, we'll get it real heavy. Some of them, we've had ash falling over here. It hasn't been red skies like anything out in California, but we have had to keep our windows closed, the air quality alerts, the ash falling, it smells like a campfire, et cetera, et cetera. So I have noticed a huge impact on my body. My husband has noticed a huge impact. And I've talked to a lot of my friends that are really noticing the just the extra burden on their bodies, whether it's exhaustion or coughing or um, just not being able to get as much air out and about and not being able to exercise, then of course impacts things too if you're used to working out outside, right? So I'm gonna share with you guys today real quickly a few of the things that we have been doing that has been really helpful to support our bodies through the wildfires. The very first thing is probably the most obvious, like, duh, is uh, my husband bought an air purifier for our guest room to use because that's his office during the day. And so um, he typically keeps the door closed while he's working in on conference calls. And so to keep that room, um, just the air nice and fresh is he bought an air purifier. Honestly, they're kind of hard to find right now. So thankfully he was able to find one at Target that was really inexpensive. There are some really nice ones out there. And um, I know Air Doctor's great if you wanna make an investment. Um, we're not affiliates or anything for them at this time. So I'm just throwing that out there. I know it's been one that I've researched really well, but he just got a basic one from Target to help we changed our air filter in our apartment and I actually sprayed it down with thieves cleaner before we put it in there so that the thieves cleaner would go and um, circulate through our air vents as well. Some of the additional things we've been doing have been increasing some of our supplements and using some essential oils. And I'm gonna show you some of what we have been using. Vitamin C, of course, is something that you want to be sure that you are consuming on a regular basis. And um, then, also anytime you have extra toxin load because it helps your body to detox. It's essential for so many systems in your body. Great for respiratory support, great for your detox support. Um, of course, immune support, all of those things, inflammation, those kind of things. So we love Super C from Young Living. These are the chewables. I We have chewables and um, there's tablets as well. I'm partial to the chewables. I don't know if it just brings me back to childhood and Flintstone vitamins that we used to take when I was a kid, but I love my Super C chewables. They're super easy, they taste delicious, and they're loaded with really good um, natural forms of vitamin C like Camu Camu, rose hips, Acarola cherry, etc. So I up my dosage of vitamin C with that, and then we also use sodium ascorbate from Nutribiotic. This is one that I've heard Dr. Suzanne Humphreys talk a lot about, and this is a buffer vitamin C as opposed to ascorbic acid, so it's not going to add any acidity to your body. It's going to be very alkaline, um, and it's, of course, bioavailable, so it's really um, readily available for your body to use. And it comes in, this is like a crystalline powder. It absorbs super quickly into your bloodstream. You can find this a lot of places. This one, we had purchased it on Amazon. We're trying not to buy as much on Amazon anymore. Um, but I know our local natural grocers usually carries it, um, several other places, and they have it in a variety of sizes. So um, really inexpensive for the amount that you need. So that is a great option as well. Like I said, we use both forms. And then, some additional vitamin C, but also other um, support is we use Ninja Red, and I will link up in the cards up here my Ninja Red video if you're like, what on earth is Ninja Red? I'm not gonna go into all of the details in this video, 
but this is super, super helpful. I drink it every day anyway, so does my husband, but during the wildfire smokes, there's been some occasions where I've added an extra ounce or two throughout the day, um, just to give my body some extra um, detox support and inflammation support because we know wildfire smoke impacts all of that. And um, yeah, lots of great things in this. Check out that video if you're interested in more details on Ninja. Then MSM is super important. Glutathione is super important in your body. It's your body's naturally occurring. Um, it's your natural detoxifier that your body makes. And MSM is the precursor to that. And so you need plenty of MSM in order to make a sufficient amount of glutathione. And this is sulfurzyme. This is the MSM from Young Living that is infused also with the Ningxia wolfberry because in order to absorb MSM, you need plenty of amino acids. And so your um, Ningxia wolfberry contains full amino acid profile, which makes the MSM more bioavailable. And you're actually going to use what you're taking and you're not just you know, taking something useless. Uh, so I do this every day anyway, again, but I usually do about like a half a teaspoon and I've been a little bit more generous with the amount I've been putting into my red drink. I mix that with my Ninja Red and some lime essential oil every day. Next up, I'm trying to move th through these as quickly as possible so that I don't, this video doesn't end up like super long. Activated charcoal. Now, this is not, do not go like get charcoal for your girl. Please don't do that. Activated charcoal that is intended for consumption. It comes in, yes, it's black, just like charcoal would be. You see it like this. Okay, this absorbs two toxins in your body and helps pull them out. And so we take charcoal. I usually have one of these things. Honestly, I've had this bottle for a long time because it's not something we take every day. But whenever we travel, we have it with us in case we eat something that just makes us like really gassy or anything um, unusual when you travel, you know? So charcoal is wonderful for pulling out those extra toxins because it's not just smoke that you're inhaling with these fires. You have all sorts of things that are melting. You've got metals, you've got paints, you've got um, the, you know, whatever petroleum chemicals that people have in their homes. Also, the flame retardants that are being tossed onto these fires are adding to the particulate matter in the air that we're inhaling. So we need something to help pull that out of our bodies. And activated charcoal is wonderful for that. This is just the Now brand. Uh, no, I'm not Now. This is Nature's Way. Sorry. Nature's Way brand. Highly absorbent. Now, I have read a lot of mixed things on this. I try and take it away from my other supplements and away from food because sometimes charcoal ever in mixed things that it can pull nutrients as well not just the bad stuff so um i just take them apart from each other two hours after i've taken other things or 20 minutes before i take anything else then omega dyes a fish oil is super helpful i love omega dyes 3 from young living because it also contains coenzyme q10 and vitamin d3 and if you're not out in the sun as much because of the fires you want some extra vitamin d as well so we love these plus they're tiny they're only this big instead of like some of the giant fish oil capsules out there that are, you know, you can barely swallow them. And though they smell fishy because there's fish oil in there, um, they don't taste gross. There's no aftertaste with those. Also, I just had a thought with glutathione, this is going to be a hard no for some people. Some of you, if you're already on the natural journey, you'll be like, oh yeah, I probably should have thought of that earlier. Um, and I'll just touch on it briefly and move right on. But when we were talking about glutathione just a minute ago, one of the most amazing things you can do to help your body's glutathione production are coffee enemas. So be sure you do them properly. If you do them, I recommend checking out the Gerson therapy and their breakdown of how to do them there, uh, how to do them safely. But um, coffee enemas like skyrocket your body's glutathione activity. So. You could always do those two if you wanted. Two things left and then a couple essential oils that we've been using because that's been crazy helpful for us too. So we started using a zeolite just recently. Um, we've used Advanced TRS. This is the um, touchstone essentials that um, Dr. Sherry Tempany recommends. So um, 
we've been doing sprays of our zeolite several times a day and then that helps to also pull any heavy metals that are in your body or heavy metals that may be coming in from the air as well. And then anytime your body is under extra stress, you burn through B vitamins like crazy. And so taking a good B complex, a uh, quality B complex. This one is Super B, again by Young Living, and it contains all of your Bs in the proper amount. And it also has essential oils in here that help make the B vitamins more bioavailable. In addition, if you're looking for a methylated form of B vitamins, they are in here. And last, but certainly not least, are the essential oils we've been using in multiple ways. We have been diffusing, we always diffuse all day. I have at least our diffuser in our living room on, and then at night we put the one in our bedroom on, but we don't typically have all three diffusers going in our apartment all day. And we have. <laughs> during this time. I've had them on the one in the guest room, the one in our living room, and the one in our bedroom have been on all day long. And these are some, just some of the ideas of things that we've been diffusing, but there's a lot, um, a lot of different options out there and available. So Raven is absolutely wonderful. It's a blend. These are all Young Living essential oils. Definitely make sure you are using therapeutic grade oils when you are diffusing because if you're using synthetic or cheap oils, essential oils, they're, they frequently have chemicals added in them. They're, they're, nothing has to be put on the label. It's so crazy the way that um, labeling laws are with essential oils. Essentially, there aren't any. Aren't any. <laughs> um, so you want to make sure you're getting a good quality one. This is Raven. It's a wonderful blend. It comes in the Young Living Starter Kit. Actually, a lot of these do because they're the most commonly used oils. This one has been in our diffuser today along with lemon. And it's a blend that has peppermint and wintergreen in it. And so it's very refreshing. It opens up your lungs. It helps you to get nice and deep breaths in. You could also put this topically on your chest. When my husband has gone out running recently, I have um, given him a couple drops of Raven to put on his chest beforehand. He hasn't gone when it's been super smoky, but on the days that it's been a little clearer, but we know there's still particulate matter in the air, we've been using this beforehand. And, um, let me do one more respiratory one. So RC is one of my favorite respiratory oils. It has several different eucalyptus in here, as well as myrtle and pine and lavender and cypress and black spruce. It smells like a spa to me. It's one of my favorites. So I love to combine this. These guys are actually kind of like cousins. So you could even use them together. Um, you could, same kind of thing with RC. You can put it on your chest in a chest rub. You can put it in the diffuser absolutely wonderful it's a little bit this this one's more minty this one whoop, this one's more eucalyptus -y, if that's a word it is now and then other respiratory ideas llp is a very common um blend that people will use of lavender lemon and peppermint and they'll put them in equal parts in their diffuser and or use the vitality versions of all three of those oils and put them in a capsule and take them internally it's wonderful when you have seasonal changes in general and if you deal with um you know seasonal inflammation if you will i'm trying to think of how to say this compliantly um so LLP is great for that. I've used it when of the couple days that my eyes have felt scratchy and red and itchy from the smoke. I've used LLP. Um, I actually, I put a little bit very carefully by my eyes, not in my eyes, not in my eyes. That's why I said very carefully not to get too close, but I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're not used to using oils a whole lot because the peppermint can be very strong. So I'd put it in the diffuser. Then um, frankincense, of course, when in doubt, Frank, Frank, and Frank again, we always say. So frankincense is wonderful. It's going to be very calming. It's going to be very grounding. And it's also going to be um, very supportive of all of your body systems. And then sometimes with the smoke, you may notice too, or if you just, if you start to feel claustrophobic or you're um, just noticing your anxious 
because of the added stress. Um, valor and peace and calming. I call this my surviving 2020 blend. These two together I've used like all year. That was before the wildfires. And I wasn't using them at the beginning of the wildfires because I was like, I need all the respiratory oils. And then I started thinking, yeah, but if like my body would just calm down stress-wise, it'd be helpful too. So these guys and then stress away as well. It's sitting over here on my shelf. I didn't pull them all out. But hopefully those ideas bless you guys some and that you're able to get some value out of that. If you found this helpful or you know of somebody who's in a wildfire area and you're not and you want to share it with them, please feel free to share this video. And I look forward to chatting with you in another video real soon. Cheers.